growth and decay. Um, so what I'm going to write is two of the usually used parent functions for these. Um, so I might say f at x is equal to, um, I'll, I'll start with the basic one for an exponential function. It's common to have an uh, exponential function like this, where b stands for like the base and x is the exponent here. So here's our like most basic exponential function. What's interesting about exponential functions is we tend to put a value in for that base because if we talk about transformations, so if I write the transformations um, of a parent function for, for an exponent, it looks something like this. f at x is equal to, and we have a, and the reason we put a value in for the base, so I'm going to say 2, which is the most commonly used one usually, um, is because sometimes they'll use b as the horizontal transformations and then you have like x minus maybe c it depends what letters you use and then all of this is plus the letter d um, sometimes people will use like a k in this value or whatever um, for exponential growth and decay though this base actually becomes a little different here we're using like an integer value a whole value we actually end up decomposing the base so the base actually looks something like this f at x is equal to and we will write 1 plus or minus the uh, percentage rate of change. So percentage um, yeah, rate of change. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah. And then that's to the power of x. Now, that can also have an a in front and, you know, some value that... Uh, vertically translates this and it could have something in the exponent that uh, compresses due to time um, but this is the key part of it is the base having some kind of change to it so for instance for instance if i have money is a common one used if i have an interest rate that's compounding so and it's growing five percent let's say a year so x would represent uh, a year okay so one year and we would write something like this. f at x is equal to a. a represents our starting value. So we haven't said how much money we have. Um, but I said we're going to increase by 5%. Well, growing or increasing deals with positive. So we'll say plus. And now I don't write 5%. I don't write the number 5 here because this ends up being a base 6 and it will just take off. 105? Yeah. Oh, um, 105 is close to what it looks like but we'd actually write that percentage as a decimal so we'll say oh, yeah, yeah. 0 0.05 that's what five percent as a decimal to the power of x and then we can simplify that base to be a 1.05 so it looks like 105 um, to the power of x and if i had a uh, hundred dollars to start my a value would actually be 100 that's my starting value so 100 times 1.05 to the power of x. This gives me my function, which I can now, I can somewhat make a graph of what this would look like. But let's say we had decay. Um, and maybe um, I've invested in something that is losing 7%. So I might say g at x, this g just being a different function than the one above, um, as a starting value. And because it is decay, or it is decreasing, we would say 1 subtract, um, whatever it is, let's say it's 7%, we have 0 0.07, we change that percent into a decimal value to the power of x, and then we work it out. Our a value, we haven't said what it started with, but this we can simplify, and this actually ends up being 0 0.93 to the power of x. Now this one, it's easy to view. This is 0 0.5 above 1. This one's a little harder. What's key here is this value is greater than 1, therefore growth. Okay. This value is less than 1, therefore decay. Anytime we're less than 1, we are shrinking. Anytime we're greater than 1, we are growing in value. Um, and let's say we started with, I don't know, 1,000 of something. Our A value would be 1,000, um, 0.93 to the X. And then that would, again, give us a relationship that looks like this. But we have a decaying relationship instead okay um, that's the general way of setting up growth and decay for an exponential function um, the rest of that stuff transformations can all be part of it but this is the most basic way of setting something like that up right? so is the a value 